Today's episode is the Ultimate Perfume Parlour Review and Buying Guide. Over the past couple of weeks I've tested out four of my favourite original fragrances and put them up against the oils, the sprays and also the extract sprays from the Perfume Parlour. I'll be letting you know how each one of these variants compares to the original as well as also answering your questions that I've received in other videos down in the comments such as how the oils uh, match up to the EDP sprays and whether there's enough difference in the extract sprays uh, to justify the extra cash for them over, over these two. It's been a, a fascinating fortnight so let's get straight into it. Welcome to Mags Franks. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much once again for tuning into this special Perfume Parlour episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and like I said in the intro, today's episode centres around four of my current favourite fragrances. And I wanted to produce a review that I don't think has been done uh, many times before, if ever, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, but this includes testing all the different Perfume Parlour variants, not only against the original, uh, but to also test them side by side against each other to find out which performs the best and whether I'd recommend like the oils over one of the spray variants. It's taken over two weeks to fully test them all uh, and I just wanted to address one question uh, that I get asked all the time and that's when people ask me why I don't do the actual side-by-side -side testing in the Perfume Parlour haul videos. This is basically because as soon as you smell um, maybe three or four different fragrances you just go completely nose blind. So it's pretty much impossible to be able to accurately compare like five dupes with five originals just all at once because they just all start to smell the same. And not only that, you guys can't smell what I'm smelling here anyway so it just means that like a 10 minute video turns into a 30 minute video of just me sticking tester strips to my nose pretending that I haven't gone nose blind. And that'd just be a little bit of a con, which I don't really want to do. So I hope that answers that question for you. Uh, and this video will kind of show you the process of what I do um, even before I sit in front of the camera and talk about any of these perfume parlor fragrances. But before I reveal any of my findings, uh, if you are interested in picking up any of these products that featured in this video today to try for yourself, you can use my uh, unique discount code uh, that I'll leave a link to down in the description. The discount code will get you 10% off your first order and uh, it'll just direct you to a login page and you'll be asked to create a login name and a password. But once you've logged into the website and you've made your purchases, uh, your discounts will already be uh, applied at the checkout out for you. And as always guys, just a quick disclaimer, like I say on all my Perfume Parlour videos, I don't work for the uh, Perfume Parlour and this video is in no way sponsored by them. So the opinions that you're going to hear today are my own uh, and I did buy these bottles with my own money. I do however receive a small commission for recommending you to their site so just by clicking on the link uh, and setting up an account you'll save 10% whilst uh, supporting the uh, channel so that I can bring you more free content in the future. So the four original fragrances that the Perfume Parlour products are going up against today are Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme, we've got Tom Ford's Black Orchid Parfum, we've got one of my all-time favourites, Caban from the YSL Private Collection and a bit more of a predictable one if you're a regular viewer to the channel which is uh, by Killian's Black Phantom. Yeah, the Spice Bomb Extreme clones are called Intense Aroma uh, Exploding and the perfume parlour code for any of these are 1484. I bought the uh, the 6ml oil roll-on uh, at £4.25, I got a 30ml uh, standard EDP spray at £5.75 and the 15ml extract spray was £10. The Black Orchid Parfum clones are called Noir Labellum 2 and the perfume parlor code on these are 1757. And again, I picked up the same bottle sizes, uh, but these are a touch more expensive, coming in at £6 for the 6ml roll-on, uh, £8 for the 13ml standard spray, and £12 for the 15ml uh, extract spray. 
The Caban clones are called Beach Pool and the Perfume Parlor code, if you're interested in any of these, is 0727. And again, these come in uh, different price points uh, to the first two that I've just mentioned. Uh, the 6ml roll-on in this one is £5.25. The 30ml standard spray is £6.75. And the 15ml extract spray is £11. And finally, the Black Phantom clones are called Noir Illusion. And the perfume parlor code on these is 1746. These ones again are £5.25 for the 6ml roll-on, uh, £6.75 for the 30ml standard spray and £11 for the 15ml ex extract spray. So for all 12 of these uh, sample bottles that I bought just to do this test cost me less than 90 quid. So all this for uh, just the cost of uh, a price of one single designer fragrance, I don't think it's too bad. Um, you just get lots of uh, high quality smelling fragrances uh, that you can have fun with. So yeah, great value for money. So for the first test, I applied every variant to its own tester strip and labelled each one individually by writing its identity on the back. And I didn't smell them at all. I just let them sit there, uh, fragrance side up, away from any sunlight and at room temperature. I went back to them 12 hours later to see which ones were still performing. And out of all 16 tester strips, there were two which particularly stood out. I knew which fragrances they were because I recognised the scent DNA, uh, but I had no idea which variants they were because the names were written on the underside and they just kind of I kind of forgot on which ones I'd put where. So, but yeah, the Spice Bomb Extreme Extract Spray and also the Black Orchid Extract Spray from the Perfume Parlor were definitely the strongest to my nose and even outperformed the originals. So these two were the outright winners of this uh, long longevity test. Yeah, all these Spice Bomb variants were still going really strong, but it was the original uh, that was second strongest uh, just behind the extract spray around about the 12 hour mark. And there wasn't much of a difference between this and the extract. The standard spray was noticeably more faint uh, and it was the oil surprisingly that was the least detectable out of the four uh, but I think that's just because it's got such a, a tiny little roller at the top and I probably just didn't uh, saturate the tester strip in the same way that when I spread the uh, the spray they just completely drowned the, the, uh, the tester strip so maybe if I'd applied a little bit more of this uh, I might have got a bit better performance. Yet in the Caban group, it was the original uh, that was definitely the most noticeable in this group for me. After the 12 hour mark, there was not much to, uh, to choose between all the perfume parlor clones, but I probably would still say again that the, uh, the extract spray maybe stood out the most. Uh, but yeah, out of this group, it was definitely the original one that stood out for me. Yeah, the Black Phantom group was the most difficult one for me because they all smell literally about the same and I couldn't differentiate between any of them whatsoever. I did pick out the extract spray as potentially the one that uh, was maybe smelling the slightly the stronger, uh, but I have to admit that this was a total guess uh, because there was literally nothing to choose between them. The uh, scent quality, um, the accuracy of them, the, there's just nothing in there. So really extremely accurate clones. The Spice Bomb Extreme and the Black Orchid Parfum have the loudest scent DNA out of all of these four of my uh, original fragrances, so they're always going to come top in this test. The Caban and the Black Phantom are kind of softer and sweeter smelling scents, which aren't going to jump off a tester strip in the same way uh, that these do. Uh, so the test kind of went the, uh, the way that I expected it to. So if it's the longevity that you're after, you can't go wrong with the Intense Aroma Exploding and the Noir Labellum 2 extract sprays from the Perfume Parlor. Yeah, so over the two weeks, I gave all the fragrances a full wearing and obviously only applied them to skin just to keep it fair to the roll-on oils. I was looking for the scent quality in this test, mainly in the opening because the dry downs are all just too close to call. It was the oils that won in this category uh, because you don't get any of that ethanol uh, alcohol blast that you get from this, uh, the sprays. So this just smelled great right from the initial application. 
The originals are the best by far out of the sprays in terms of the opening scent quality. And this is where I think most people base their opinions about clones because they can just be a bit off-putting in the first few minutes until they settle down and the alcohol wears off. The extract sprays are noticeably better than the standard sprays in the opening and they are pretty close to the originals but the originals are just still a bit better and have uh, more pleasing openings. Sadly uh, it's the uh, the standard sprays that sit at the bottom of the test in this uh, in this one so uh, you just need to give these a few minutes to settle down before you go in for a smell because you, they are just going to fill your nostrils with alcohol and you're going to go nose blind with these uh, and you won't smell anything for the first half an hour or so so don't go straight in for a sniff with these like you would do with an original the perfume parlor clones also leave more of like an oily residue on the skin um, than the normal fragrances so just be careful if you are going to be uh, wearing uh, like a white shirt with them because you do get kind of a, an oily residue the oils and also the extract sprays don't need to be left on the shelf to macerate for a few weeks either like the standard sprays do they seem to be fine straight out of the box so again it's a win for the oils and the extracts in terms of the dry down i don't care what anyone else says all of these uh, perfume parlor clones um, smell 95 percent similar to the original in the dry down and the spice bomb extreme and the black orchid parfum copies i'd say are one-to-one -one clones maybe only the caban copy is ever so slightly different when you smell them side by side but to anyone smelling it in the air they'd never know that you're wearing a dupe I'm not one of these people who buys an original and then tries to save face by looking for minute differences and reasons to bash clones and look down my nose at them. These all smell extremely similar uh, to the originals and if you do prefer the original then by, by all means go ahead if you, if you like the nicer packaging or you enjoy the story of a particular brand that's fine uh, but don't be an idiot by saying that these uh, smell nothing like what they're supposed to be clones of because they do and in two of the four examples here the extract sprays actually outperform the originals. The standard sprays are going to be fine for the majority of people. They've got accurate smelling dry downs and they are, they're just all around great value for money. All the ones that I own generally have decent performance uh, but you do have to let them kind of settle down when you first apply them um, if you really want to pick up on the scent DNA because the alcohol blast is, uh, is a little bit off-putting in these and you also uh, have to let these macerate on the shelf but apart from that uh, really great value for money in the standard sprays. The oils are what I'd recommend for all round scent quality because the opening is instantly more pleasing than what you get from the sprays. And right from minute one you get the uh, scent DNA of what these are supposed to be copying. The downside is uh, that it's, a only, like, it's a skin only product and I like to apply a fragrance to my clothes and my hair. I'd recommend these though, uh, just the, these small little 6ml roll-ons if you're, if you're buying them completely blind just to discover new fragrances uh, because they're really inexpensive and they will give you probably the best first impression. Yeah, so that leaves the extract sprays which I feel hit the sweet spot for me personally. They aren't just the standard fragrances decanted in a fancier bottle and in this test uh, there was a noticeable difference in the opening scent quality and also the longevity over the uh, standard sprays. I think the few pounds price difference is justified because you get a better blended scent with better presentation. You may even want to go crazy and apply a few dabs of the oil to your neck and your wrists and then maybe uh, spray the extract sprays on your clothes um, just, and that's if you just want to get the best of both worlds but for me I'll be sticking with the extracts from now on. So once again that's about it for this episode but don't forget I'll be back very soon with another perfume parlor haul. Uh, this one arrived just the other day uh, which also includes the brand new uh, clone which is a, a copy of uh, Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Harpel so don't forget to, uh, to look out for that one. I'll also be reviewing a six fragrance haul from KDJ Inspired which is my very first experience with that particular brand so that should be pretty interesting also. And as always guys if you found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all other fragrances so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. 
So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this very special Perfume Parlour episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>